I come to you in the name of the Lord, whoever you are and wherever you may be, know that I love you and God loves you and that you are not alone, even if you feel unworthy. He has a will for you today. I pray that you hear him. It's a good time to follow Jesus. There's mercy and grace for you today. We only have a few days on this earth. Let us enjoy them. Now let's take a breath in. And a breath out. <sighs> to the word of God we go. Psalm 119, part 2, starting in verse 97. <clears throat> oh, how I love thy law. It is my meditation all the day. Though through thy commandments, thou through thy commandments hast made me wiser than mine enemies, for they are ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients, because I keep thy precepts. I have refrained my feet from every evil way, that I might keep thy word. I have not departed from thy judgments, for thou hast taught me. How sweet are thy words unto my taste, yea, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I have sworn and I will perform it, that I will keep thy righteous judgments. I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Lord, according unto thy word. Accept, I beseech thee, thy free will offerings, the free will offerings of my mouth, O Lord, and teach me thy judgments. My soul is continually in my hand, yet do I not forget thy law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I erred not from thy precepts. Thy testimonies have I taken as an heritage forever, for they are the rejoicing of my heart. I have inclined mine heart to perform thy statutes alway, even unto the end. I hate vain thoughts, but thy law do I love. Thou art my hiding place and my shield. I hope in thy word. Depart from me, ye evildoers, for I will keep the commandments of my God. Uphold me according unto thy word, that I may live, and let me not be ashamed of my hope. Hold thou me up, and I shall be safe, and I will have respect unto thy statutes continually. Thou hast trodden down all them that err from thy statutes, for their deceit is falsehood. Thou puttest away all the wicked of the earth like dross, therefore I love thy testimonies. My flesh trembleth for fear of thee, and I am afraid of thy judgments. I have done judgment and justice, leave me not to mine oppressors. Be surety for thy servant for good, and let not the proud oppress me. Mine eyes fail for thy salvation and for the word of thy righteousness. Deal with thy servant according unto thy mercy, and teach me thy statutes. I am thy servant. Give me understanding that I may know thy testimonies. It is time for thee, Lord, to work, for they have made void thy law. Therefore I love thy commandments above gold, yea, above fine gold. Therefore I esteem all thy precepts concerning all things to be right, and I hate every false way. Thy testimonies are wonderful, therefore doth my soul keep them. The entrance of the, thy words giveth light, it giveth understanding unto the simple. I opened my mouth and panted, for I longed for thy commandments. Look thou upon me and be merciful unto me, as thou usest to do unto those that love thy name. Order my steps in thy word, and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the oppression of man, so will I keep thy precepts. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant, and teach me thy statutes. Rivers of waters run down my eyes, because they keep not thy law. Righteous art thou, O Lord, and upright are thy judgments. Thy testimonies that thou hast commanded are righteous and very faithful. My zeal hath consumed me, because mine enemies have forgotten thy words. Thy word is very pure, therefore thy servant loveth it. I am small and despised, yet do not I forget thy precepts. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. 
Trouble and anguish have taken hold on me, yet thy commandments are my delights. The righteousness of thy testimonies is everlasting. Give me understanding, and I shall live. I cried with my whole heart, Hear me, O Lord. I will keep thy statutes. I cried unto thee, Save me, and I shall keep thy testimonies. I prevented the dawning of the morning and cried, I hoped in thy word. Mine eyes prevented the night watches that I might meditate in thy word. Hear my voice according unto thy loving kindness, O Lord. Quicken me according to thy judgment. They draw nigh that follow after mischief. They are far from thy law. Thou art near, O Lord, and all thy commandments are truth. Concerning thy testimonies, I have known of old that thou hast founded them forever. Consider mine affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget thy law. Plead my cause and deliver me, quicken me according to thy word. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they seek not thy statutes. Great are thy tender mercies, O Lord, quicken me according to thy judgments. Many are my persecutors and mine enemies, yet do I not decline from thy testimonies. I beheld the transgressors and was grieved because they kept not thy word. Consider how I love thy precepts. Quicken me, O Lord, according to thy loving kindness. Thy word is true from the beginning, and every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. Princes have persecuted me without a cause, but my heart standeth in awe of thy word. I rejoice at at thy word as one that findeth great spoil. I hate and abhor lying, but thy law do I love. Seven times a day do I praise thee because of thy righteous judgments. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Lord, I have hoped in thy, for thy salvation and done thy commandments. My soul hath kept thy testimonies, and I love them exceedingly. I have kept thy precepts and thy testimonies, for all my ways are before thee. Let my cry come near before thee, O Lord. Give me understanding according to thy word. Let my supplication come before thee. Deliver me according to thy word. My lips shall utter praise when thou hast taught me thy statutes. My tongue shall speak of thy word, for all thy commandments are righteousness. Let thine hand help me, for I have chosen thy precepts. I have longed for thy salvation. O Lord, and thy law is my delight. Let my soul live and it shall praise thee, and let thy judgments help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek thy servant, for I do not forget thy commandments. Wow, the word of God. Amen. The second part two, second half of Psalm 119. Wow. This is encouragement along the way. I pray that you have been encouraged by the holy reading of his word. Let's talk about it a little bit. Man, there is so much to digest, so much to chew on. Wow, so much has just been said. I'm just going to point out a few a few little highlights, and um, I pray that uh, you retain, and I pray that you study Psalm 119 on your own, because there is so much to be learned here. Uh, starting on verse 97, Oh, how I love thy law, it is my meditation all the day. Is it your meditation all the day? Do you study his word? Do you study his law? Do you understand the heart, the mind, the disposition, the place um, uh, of, of the mind of Psalm 119? I pray that you do, and I pray that the Holy Spirit opens your mind, that you can understand the uh, wisdom of, of uh, having Psalm 119 be your yes and amen in your heart. Psalm 100, I understand more than the ancients because I keep thy precepts. This is something I find fascinating because there's many people who have itching ears and go to people who uh, itch their ears, um, telling them exactly what they want to hear and, uh, you know, ooh, I love that. Yes, ooh, motivation, rah, rah, rah. But you know what? Those who study the word and the study of the Lord, they know more than the ancients. They know more than people who have been on this earth for a very long time. I mean, it's because God's word is eternal. It's spirit uh, made. Um, and it is our sword. It's, it's a weapon. It's powerful. 
continuing on. Verse 104, through thy precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. All the false ways are, I hate them. With a righteous hate, a hatred. Not mankind's hatred, but it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's because it's a false way. Because it is not the truth. Because it goes against God's precepts. Because it is sin and because it is just altogether wrong. And because I love thy law, I hate the false ways. 105, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. A wonderful hymn was based off this. Uh, 116, uphold me according unto thy word that I may live. And let me be not ashamed in my hope. Hmm. 142, thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. And thy law is the truth. 144, the righteousness of thy testimonies is everlasting. Give me understanding and I shall live. 149, hear my voice according unto thy loving kindness. O Lord, quicken me according to thy judgment. 160, thy word is true from the beginning and every one of thy righteous judgments endureth forever. 162, I rejoice at thy word as one that findeth great spoil. 165, great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall offend them. Much more could be said, but for the sake of time, I'll end right now. Thank you for your word, Lord. Thank you for Psalm 119. I'll sing a short hymn, and then I'd like to end with a uh, something called Answered Prayer. This song is called His Name is Wonderful. His name is wonderful. His name is wonderful. His name is wonderful. Jesus, my Lord. He is the mighty King, Master of everything. His name is wonderful. Jesus, my Lord. He's the great shepherd, the rock of all ages. Almighty God is he. Bow down before him. Love and adore him. His name is wonderful. Jesus, my Lord. Amen. This is by an unknown Confederate soldier called Answered Prayer. I asked God for strength that I might achieve. I was made weak that I might learn humbly to obey. I asked for health that I might do greater things. I was given infirmity that I might do better things. I asked for riches that I might be happy. I was given poverty that I might be wise. I asked for power that I might have the praise of men. I was given weakness, that I might feel the need of God. I asked for all things, that I might enjoy life. I was given life, that I might enjoy all things. I got nothing that I asked for, but everything I had hoped for. Almost despite myself, my unspoken prayers were answered. I am among all men most richly blessed. Sole Deo Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deo, Glory to God in the highest, Glory to God forever and ever, in Jesus' holy, perfect, mighty name I pray, and in the dunamis power of the Holy Spirit, the same power that rose Jesus from the grave, I pray, Amen, Amen, and Amen.